Alright guys, so today I have a pretty embarrassing slash stupid story about how stupid I was when I was a little kid. I mean, I'm still pretty stupid now, but I'm just less stupid than I was before. But, I'm gonna tell you this story. It's probably happened when I was about 13 or 14 years old. And what was going on is my mom and my dad both worked early morning shifts. They started at like 6 a.m. And school here started at 8 a.m., so it was kind of up to me and my brother to find a way to get ourselves to school, which usually meant we'd go up to my friend's house up the road, and then we'd get in his car when his parents would bring us to work. For whatever reason, I can't really explain it or say I don't know what my reason for doing this was, but one of the things that I decided to do is, like, I always wanted to be, like, one of those kids that smoked. Well, not anymore, I don't, but, like, when I was younger, I always wanted to be one of those kids that would, like, smoke or hang with, like, the badass kids or the cool kids or, I don't know why I thought that was cool, but, anyways, I thought it would be a good idea to take paper and smoke that. Like I said, I wanted to smoke but I was too much of a bitch to actually smoke, like, real cigarettes or anything like that. So I thought it'd be a good idea to take, like, computer paper and toilet paper and roll that up and smoke that. And I don't know why I did this. I still can't tell you why I did this. But anyways, that's what I did. And I would go out in my backyard because I have, like, this privacy fence back there. So, like, it's pretty hard to see inside of it. So what I do is I just go in my backyard, and I would do this. And I did this probably for about a week, every morning before school when my parents were gone. And I thought I was being so sneaky and snow, sneaky, snaky, and getting away with this. And, like, yeah, no one's going to catch me. No one's going to see me doing this. But I was wrong. Because one day, my dad went on a business trip. And then when he came back on his business trip, I guess one of the neighbors had told him that they saw me and my brother, I don't know how I got my brother to do this, I can't even remember that, but somehow one of the neighbors saw me. And now, this is my two theories. I'm not going to tell you what the neighbors' names are, but one of the neighbors lives next to me and my deck is right next to his house, so he could have saw me through the cracks in the deck. Or my other neighbor that lived next to me at the time, which doesn't anymore, um... She actually, her house is high enough to where she could see out of her window over my privacy fence. So I don't know who, which neighbor saw me, but one of them saw me and my brother smoking on our back deck. When my dad got home on his business trip, she told him that we were smoking on the back deck. So my dad calls me and my brother. He's like, hey, you guys come down here. I need to talk to you about something. So we come downstairs and we sit in the chairs in the kitchen. And my dad goes, who is smoking on the back deck? And I'm just like, ah, shit. And we, we just fessed up right away and we just told him what was going on because we knew we'd been caught. There was no way of denying it. We, we knew he found out. We don't know how he found out. We still don't know how he found out to this day, but he, we knew he found out. So we just told him. And then the craziest thing happened though. He's like, all right, thanks for being honest. Thanks for just telling the truth right away. You guys are grounded for a day. Don't go on any electronics anymore. Me and my brother just kind of looked at each other like, what? Are you serious? Only a day? Are you sure you don't want to make it longer? Like, we didn't tell him that. I thought he would ground us a lot longer than just a day. Like, he just grounded us for the rest of the day. And then it was already, like, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. So, like, almost more than half of the day was already over. So, it's like, just the rest of the day, that's it? But, yeah, that is the story about how I got caught smoking paper in my backyard. So, don't smoke paper in your backyard. Uh, don't smoke in your backyard in general, and don't think that you're being sneaky about anything, because in reality, you're probably not, and someone's probably going to find out anyway. So if you want to do stupid stuff, just don't do it, because you're probably not going to get away with it anyway. Again, I was pretty stupid, pretty young when I did this. Like I said, I'm still kind of stupid, but I'm just less stupid than I was now. But anyways, that is it. Thanks for watching. This has been AJ Oroclips. I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.